Hi guys, happy Wednesday, happy Whiskey Wednesday. Um, so this is the 58th tasting that I'm doing uh, and I think it's still part of the Safer at Home series because we are still safer at home in California even though some things are starting to open up. Um, but anyways, what we're going to try today is a classic Isla single malt. This is Laphroaig 10 year. Um, so 10 year is what you'll come across most for Laphroaig and it's a Isla single malt scotch whiskey. So it's from the Isla region. It is a very heavily peated malt, very heavily peated whiskey. Um, and if you go back to day 33, I talk a little bit more in depth about the process that goes into making Laphroaig. I talk about Laphroaig quarter cask. Um, but anyways, uh, this whiskey is from the Isla region. It is peated to, I believe, 45 ppm. Uh, Laphroaig does their own malting, so they peat the barley themselves uh, using cold smoke. Uh, that just means that they're increasing the amount of exposure that the barley has to the peat smoke, which is why it is so smoky. Um, and then they uh, double distill it and through their distillation cuts, they're trying to preserve a lot of the medicinal tarry notes that Laphroaig is known for. Um, then this bottling is aged for at least 10 years uh, using ex-bourbon casks. Um, anyways, this is 43% ABV and I think we should dive right in. So there's a good golden color there. It's not super dark, but it's not quite as light as uh, their quarter cask, assuming it's much, much older. But yeah, right off the bat, you get some like burnt rubber peat coming into your face. Oh, uh, a little bit like rotten jasmine, uh, which is fun. And I say rotten because there's a little bit of a floral note in here, but it also uh, has has a little bit of like a sweet rotten thing to it. But yeah, lots and lots of smoke with a hint of of sweetness. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I love PD scotches, so this is right up my alley. Um, it's got some really great, really great smoke to it. Um, some fun, uh, some fun diversity going on through throughout the palette. Um, it's definitely changing. Um, there's a lot of smoke. Everything that I'm getting it just has a hint of of burnt on it. So there's some baking spice that's coming through, uh, but it's more of like if you were to burn some cinnamon sticks. Uh, there's some chocolate coming through, but that of course is like really, really rich, maybe more like espresso um, as well. And uh, yeah, some, some fun little like rubbery notes tossed in. Um, when I went in and nosed it as I was still tasting it, it was just tires, rubber tires. Um, I mean, these these all sound like um, terrible tasting notes, but if you're a fan of peaty scotches, this is just what you're looking for and uh, just what Laphroaig is known for. So yeah, I love a good glass of Laphroaig. Anyways, guys, happy Wednesday. Happy Whiskey Wednesday. Thanks.